What's up guys and gals welcome back to the Dirt Castle for what might be the last episode? I don't know this game like has the tendency to really feel like it's about to end and then you get to the next part and something bad happens and you're like oh it's not ending it was just toying with me and so at this point feeling very much like your average Lego man I think that I'm suspending my belief that the game might possibly be over it's seriously like the game that never ends it's actually kind of ridiculous what's this over here so we can't they duct taped that thing? Sh that's not even duct tape, that's masking tape. Alright, so I guess we're doing something over here. View the flight recorder data. Ace, jack, and a nine. Ooh, flamethrower fuel. Yes, please. Some scrap, we may need that. I would assume that it wouldn't continue to give me stuff if I wasn't going to get to use it. What's going on here? report personal message this is for my daughter hi Amanda I'm recording this for you my sweetheart and I hope you get to hear it one day you see I um I got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. That'll do it. I think that was too late. He sent it going. He sent it going. Taylor, I'll stop the overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Warning. Fusion reactor overload in progress. Open the fusion system so I can work on him. What? I need power sent to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters AUX. Alright, let's get this thing going. Come on. I don't want to die in a giant electric ball of death. Come on. Well, I guess a giant atomic ball okay. of death. Good, oh, it looks dangerous. Now switch the maintenance terminal from auto to manual. Do you see it? I, I don't it. It'll be there, Taylor. Trust me. That's it. Okay. There it is. It's making a loud whining sound, though, and that actually makes me feel very, very nervous about the prospects of all of this. Okay, and then we do this. Overload. 
Should I be running or something? No. Oh shit! Okay, so now we're going somewhere. Hey, you know the alien's about to show up. He's about to be like, hey, I heard you guys were having some systems failure problems. Gotta make sure I got my flamethrower just in case. You never quite know. So I guess we're going back to Sebastopol now. I mean, it seems like the only likely option at this point. Oh no, we're not going that way. This way is filled with many lightnings. Hmm. Burning to death on a space barge does not even make it into my list of top table ways to go out. This is definitely not like the Wyatt Earp way that I figured we'd go out of this. You know, old age and all that. Face huggers, now is not the time. You better not be in here. Yeah, I know you were in here before. Jesus. Running away. Is that what I want right there? That is what I want right there. Alien, you better stop your shenanigans. Not right now. Onto the shuttle. I don't know if I can pilot while panicked. I don't think that that's part of my qualifications. I'm a systems engineer something. I don't remember what my job was anymore. I fix stuff. That's all that I figure, considering she's been building bombs and explosives out of random household items the entire game. Craft coupling malfunctions. Service offline. Ricardo. Ricardo. Ripley, the Elisador Blast took out the orbital stabilizers. We're about to fall from the sky. I'm trying to contact the torrents, but the comms are still locked. The ambulance you just docked is screwed. The torrent is our only way off this. Oh, good. Just what I always wanted. Let's do... Oh, I messed that one up. Oh, I got it. Got an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please tell us what's going on in there. We we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrens out. Okay, so the Torrens is good. Where are we going? We got to find Ricardo, which means we got to make it back to the Marshall Bureau. There's also still the minor problem of an alien running around. I got no movement. Let's go for it. Eh, fortune favors the bold. Alright, check for the alien. Alright, we're good. Press that thing on down. Mini game up. And there it is. Now what do we want to do? I, I'm a little bit worried. Little bit worried about using guns or anything like that. Oh yeah, I've been here. Okay, so... To get to Ricardo, we gotta go but Oh, that's right, he was in comms. I remember him mentioning that. Okay. I was gonna say, why aren't why aren't we in like the Marshals Bureau right now? What do they want? The Torrens. They heard the broadcast. They wanna contact it. I think they plan on taking it by force. Can they? No. Comms are still out. Stay clear of them though. They're dangerous and desperate. Okay. Well, in that case, it means no matter what I've got to do, I've got to... Oh, yeah, they're over there. Oh, I stepped in fire. My bad. Okay, so we have a number of problems that we have to deal with right now. I... Don't know what my plan is at the moment. Okay, I was gonna weld that open or weld it shut or whatever. But oh, he's right there. Okay, I see him. He's got a lot of body armor and shit on too. Oh shit. Okay, so let's run from the unholy aimbot. Who has now just barely missed us twice.
the downshot to this is the alien still in the area? That's the only part that I'd be really, really worried about. Because if the alien's still here, these firefights are not going to work to our advantage at all. I don't think that that guy in there heard. Okay, maybe he did. Alright, let me run away real fast. I'll get a little bit of distance on him just to make sure. However, the plus side here is that I doubt that these dudes are immune to being set on fire. I don't really want to use my bolt gun up completely because we may come across a few more androids that need to be dealt with. Oh, this is an access rewire. Damn it. This is probably a bad idea. What did that do? Alright, so... Oh, yeah. It gave me smoke cover. Okay. Might make it a tad easier to navigate this mess. I mean, honestly, we don't really have to worry about it that much. I could crawl through the hatch right there, but I think I'll leave it as is for now. I don't think that's like a direct part of what I need to get done. Sneak past these guys as best as possible. Hope that they have trouble seeing through glass, as the AI seems to have had trouble the entire game. There's that. A couple of things that need to be dealt with, but I think if we can stay low, we're going to be alright. So let's do that. He said as he stood up to his full height. Looks like they came through and killed all the droids though, so that's a plus. At least we don't have to worry about C-3PO screwing anything up anymore. And if you turn around, I'm going to be very, very frustrated with you, so please don't. And then we need to go upstairs, alright. I don't want to point out an obvious flaw in the engineering here, but why would we make the entire space station so flammable? Oh. Let's jump in here real fast. I couldn't tell. I could hear the voice, and I couldn't tell if it was somebody on the opposite side of that door, and if it was, I wanted to jump in here real fast. I don't know if the game was testing me, being like, will you react quick enough? Hmm? Yeah, let's not use the large beeping piece of machinery while somebody's looking for us, please. Just find him. Hold it together. Sounds like he's in the closet with me. Like, oh, hey, I was looking for you. I was kind of hiding at the same time. I'm not the bravest security force officer. What do you want me to say? Let's save our game. Hooray, game saved. Probably just in time to get shot in the back of my ass. Although, does an ass have a front? I don't think an ass has a front, so... I might kind of have things a little bit off here. I don't know if we could call down the alien. I mean, calling down the alien seems like it would be a pretty good plan right about now. I distinctly remember running from said alien in this area. Why he's not deciding to pop in now. He's like, no way, man. Those guys got guns. I ain't coming down there. Nope. Try and be as careful as possible as we move past the cigar lounge here. Mm. 
right, so some more lights on. Is that Ricardo? Who is that? There's somebody in the operating desk right there. Is that Ricardo? I think it is. Give me some loot. Come on, conveyor belt. I wish that there was loot for you to convey unto me. Oh man. Your flaps are empty and therefore I do not love you. Ripley, you okay? Listen, Marlowe's permissions are still logged at this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrents, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrents coordinates using that. I'll get the door for you. Yay! The never ending backsliding of the goalposts. What a gentleman. He held the door for us. Good for you. How much further is this going to take? Oh, good. All the way down a big ass hallway. Where does that go? Not where I want to go. Let's go to comms control and have another adventure in terror and horror and in shiny black exoskeletons. Is that truly where I want to go? Or is it counting this all as part? See, their map is a little bit weird in this game because technically I'm taking an elevator down to a lower level, but it's got it all written on this level. A little bit weird. A little bit weird. I wonder how effective the flamethrower is on humans. I mean, it sounds like a sadistic thing to think about, but eh. You know, I like cracklings. <laughs> We've gone from running from an alien and trying to be the hero to joking about shooting people with a flamethrower and eating them. Welcome to the Nerd Castle, new viewer. I see you've landed on my 35th video for Alien Isolation. Today, we talk about cannibalism. Well, there's no enemies nearby. Might as well, just in case we die. There's been a couple points in this game where I've, like, saved, and unfortunately... I've bypassed the next point, so it takes forever to get back to where I was. Or even worse, a couple times... I oh, I remember this place. This is where the androids almost punched me in the head repeatedly. Fun times. Damn it. I can't get past the lockdown. Please on it. That ship's up there. Wait, Chris. Apollo won't let me in. Try your codes again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't there like a sphincter around here somewhere? I remember crawling through a vent to bypass a lot of this. I don't know if this is still gonna work, but if it'll keep me away from them, or maybe it'll give me like a hidey hole view from up top. There we go. Like something like this. What did that do? I mean, I know I activated that like back in the day, but... What does it do now? Okay, so there's one over there. There's a third unidentified one, though. If I can turn off the air purification, that would be great. There it is. Let's go. So it should get real misty and foggy down in there. Yeah, there it is. That's exactly what I was going for. Let's see if we can keep trudging our way along and maybe survive this thing. Hmm? Doesn't that sound nice? After so much time running, hiding, ducking, and diving, it really seems kind of nice to actually survive this situation. The alien, weirdly enough, has not shown up either. That's the other part that vexes me. We've been shooting guns and basically just going out like a cowboy, like yee-haw, like firing guns all over the place. And the alien really doesn't seem to be as interested at this point. He'd be like, eh, you know, you killed my entire species except for me. I'm a little bit down about it, and I'm having trouble finding my motivation right now. Okay, so I'm underneath the desk. I apologize for how dark this is. Believe me when I say... It's super dark for me, too. We'll make it through this, I promise. Can't see where shit right now. Huh? Ooh, stealth skills engage. Stealth skills engage? Splattercat doesn't have those. He has noise skills. He has, like, damaging skills. But definitely, eh. 
a little bit questionable when it comes to the sneaking skills. And this is where I wanted to be, right? I'm going to spend all my time sneaking over here, and it's not even the location I need to be in. And then I'm going to be like, herp, derp, derp, I'll see y'all next episode. And like, that's essentially how this whole thing seems to go. All right, so since we bypassed that room, I'm leaving. We got an eye on torch this bitch. And since we've got at least a little bit of time, I'm going to try and do it. He's all the way on the other side. It's going to be noisy, but no time like the present. Okay, they didn't even come investigate. These guys are totally and completely not paying attention. Plus, they don't have scary body armor. Somehow, I feel like the scary body armor like modifies their ability to hunt me or something. Through another airlock. Another dead guy with a hole in him. He actually looks pretty stoked about the fact that he just got shot. I mean, I don't know. He seems like he's got kind of a smiley thing going on. He didn't wet himself either, so that's good. At least he can go out like that. I'd be kind of upset if like the last thing I did before I died was like wet myself. I'd be like, damn it. Now everybody's going to come in here. I'm going to be covered in pee. I'm not going to be able to explain, which is the worst part. Ooh, cassette tapes, just in case. Just in case. What the hell is this place? Hold on, what? Oh, man. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Got it. I am. I am. Oh, do I have to hold? So I enter to confirm. There we go. I got it. What? Okay, so I've got to like do a docking alignment or something. Yeah, that seems about right. Was that what I was supposed to do or did I mess up? I think I messed up. So move keys and then press enter to engage. Like, maybe it's supposed to be inside that ring? There we go. Alright. A lot of the mini games in this game come with, like, no explanation whatsoever. And you're like, so am I lining up the little things in the middle? Am I lining up the rings? You just gotta kind of trial and error your way through it sometimes. It's taken me, like, half the game just to figure out a couple of the mini games. That's how blunt I am and how just obtuse I make everything, so... It doesn't help, though, that the UI gives a fair amount of obfuscation. going on here oh I'm doing something else hold on deep space scan okay so let's go like oh, okay I think I just about got it here we go oh yeah you line up them rings no damn it I can do this I believe yeah there it is I shouldn't Ricardo, I found them. Now you've got to align the dishes to the Tommen's position manually. Jack, I'm going outside. Oh man, I'm going outside. Are we about to do another moonwalk? Because seriously, every single moonwalk we've ever done has not really been a thriller. You know, so there's that. I was gonna make more Michael Jackson jokes, but I feel like we've already touched on that. Like I. I feel like it's already been done, and so I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. I was just going to name, like, Michael Jackson songs for, like, five minutes, but, eh. I lost my motivation somewhere around the middle. I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. You know what you should do? You should talk loudly through a radio right before I sneak past somebody. Alright, let's go outside and we will... I mean, I don't really want to be outside. Explosive decompression seems like it would kind of suck. Just like, there goes my eyes. The world's crankiest, joltiest, like, jiggliest elevator. My god. <laughs> Welcome to the Jigglevator! 
It's so much fun! Commence the jiggling! Alright, and so over here we got a save point. Obviously, I'm never one to turn one of those down. And I think it's about time to break off the episode, so my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Alien Isolation. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and hi-do!